Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be diving in and talking all about marula oil. Marula oil has been my beauty oil of choice for, I wanna say the last one to three years. I have this warped idea of time. I think it's just like the stage of life that I'm in with young kids. Tell me if you can relate. I wanna say it's been the last year, but I've probably been using it for three years and I have no idea. <laughs> but I really jumped on the whole beauty oil trend years ago when I feel like Josie Marin's line really kind of um, brought argon oil out into the masses and really got that level of interest in beauty oils. Uh, but since I've kind of moved from argon oil and I've been using marula oil and I use it in my skincare products, I use it uh, in my foundation routine. There are certain little tricks I have to uh, manipulate makeup and kind of achieve the look that I'm wanting to create with oil. Um, there are a lot of benefits to marula oil and I thought I would take this opportunity to share those with you. Um, there's also a lot of different ways that you can use marula oil. So if you think it's just an oil to apply on your skin after a cleanser, there are so many other ways to use this product that I thought I would share. So this video is in partnership with May Love. May Love is a brand that you guys know I love. May loves it, I love it, we all love it. <laughs> okay, I know I'm not a comedian. Um, but when May Love reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try some of their new products, um, I jumped on the opportunity. They have several new products that I've been testing, but the Marula Oil really stood out to me as well as their Refresher, the Triple um, Alpha Hydroxy Acid Cleanser. This is fantastic too. But when I was thinking of what type of video I wanted to create for my partnership, I really wanted to create a video that I felt was really educational educational and informative. So I thought, why not create a video about all the different ways that you can use marula oil um, and all the benefits and kind of explain a little bit about the differences between marula oil and let's say argon oil or serums and so forth. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I've tested several marula oils over the last couple of years since I started getting into using a marula oil. You you guys have heard me talk about some in the past in previous videos. Um, I really like the May Love Marula Oil because it is very, very, very lightweight for a Marula Oil. I've tried others in the past that I did like, but they were definitely stickier and thicker. What I love about May Loves is it is, oops, it is much uh, lighter in consistency, so it does uh, absorb into the skin pretty quickly. It doesn't leave the skin feeling sticky or tacky. Now it is a, and now marula oil does leave the skin feeling oily. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say that it doesn't leave any slip to the skin, because it certainly does. But of the marula oils that I've tried, I really, really like the way this one feels on my skin. It feels really lightweight. Uh, it retails for $28. If you're not familiar with May Love, you guys, definitely check them out. Um, all of their products, I just got on their website to confirm, but everything is uh, $28 or under. The cleanser, I believe, is $18 or $19. And these products are fantastic, you guys. Really, really fantastic. Some of my favorites are the Marula Oil, now the cleanser, and uh, the Glow Maker. This is a game changer product. I have said that in so many videos in the past, and it really is. I use this daily. Um, there's been a period of time where I've been out of it and I didn't use it for several weeks or a couple of months and I noticed a difference on my skin um, in the not so great way. I noticed my skin looked more dull. It didn't look as bright and glowy. This is a fantastic product. So, so before we get started and all the benefits and ways to use marula oil, I do want to talk quickly about the difference between the marula oil and the Glow Maker Serum and really just kind of in general what the difference between a face oil and a serum. And the biggest difference is the molecules in uh, face oils are much bigger and serums is much smaller. So, so the serums are really going to absorb into the skin at a deeper level than an oil is able to do. As far as steps in your skincare routine, the serum is going to be the product that you use first. It's the product and the treatment that you do first on clean, uh, dry skin. And the oil is generally the last product that you apply to the skin. So if you apply any other uh, treatment products or you like to apply another moisturizer, you want to apply that first and then apply the oil as the last step. So marula oil is considered an anti-aging oil. It contains fatty acids as well as antioxidants like vitamin E um, and up to 60% more than an argon oil. It can also help reduce redness, minimize scars, help prevent stretch marks. It's a great product to use if you're pregnant. And um, I know when I was pregnant, I used to rub all types of different creams and lotions on my belly. Had I known at that time, I would have been rubbing marula oil on my belly because that can definitely help prevent stretch marks. It can be used on the hair, the nails, and of course the skin. And it has a shelf life for up to two to three years. So in addition to just applying it straight to the skin, um, that's typically how I apply it. I cleanse my skin and then I use about three to four drops all over my face. Um, I'll also put some around my eyes. 
That'll help with fine lines and just add that added hydration to the skin. You can also mix it with your cleanser. So if you have a cleanser that you love, but let's say, and, and this is the case for me, there are some cleansers that I absolutely love, but in months where it's more colder or drier, they might make my skin feel a little bit too dry. But it's a cleanser that I love and I don't wanna toss or replace because I know in a matter of a month or six weeks, it's gonna be the perfect cleanser for my skin. You can add marula oil to your cleanser to add a little bit of hydration um, so that you can kind of make that cleanser work in those months that your skin t tends to be a little bit drier. Another trick you can do is add it to your moisturizer. So this is a trick that I'll do in the mornings um, when it's really cold or dry out or my skin is dehydrated and just needs that extra hydration. Uh, rather than apply it all over my skin, just because I like a lighter weight feel in the mornings than an oil on my skin, I'll mix it with my moisturizer and that will just help kind of um, make my moisturizer, it'll, it'll kind of make my moisturizer go a bit further. Another trick I've been doing lately is adding it to my foundations. So particularly like matte full coverage foundations um, when it's really dry and cold and my skin just looks like the Sahara Desert, I will add that to a foundation just to give the foundation a little bit more luminosity um, and keep the skin looking a little bit healthier, more supple, more hydrated. Another really great trick for under eyes, if you apply concealer and you feel like it just magnifies texture or uh, dryness under the eye, did you guys know that the skin under our eye is the thinnest and it tends to be the driest on our face? So when skin is dry and dehydrated, it magnifies texture. So when you put makeup on that, especially a heavy concealer, it can magnify lines and wrinkles. And make your lines and wrinkles look worse than they did before you put makeup on. Adding a little bit of an oil just under the eyes before you apply concealer is a a really great way to soften and minimize fine lines. And because marula oil is so soothing on the skin, it's a really great product to apply after you've done a chemical peel or a glycolic acid treatment or any treatment to the skin that causes it to be uber sensitive. Putting marula oil on right after that will really help calm and soothe the skin. Now here are some tricks for hair. There's so many different ways you can use marula oil in your hair. So one way that you can use it is you can um, apply it to the scalp and really work it into the scalp about once a week. Obviously you're probably gonna need a shampoo after this, so I would recommend doing this at night and letting it really treat the scalp overnight and then washing your hair the next morning. You can add it to your styling cream, so after you've washed your hair and you're preparing to blow dry and style it, add it to a thicker styling cream you might have that's gonna just help nourish your hair. You can also add it directly to dry hair if you particularly have dry ends. Um, I would recommend just putting a few drops between your hand, really working it in, and starting about kind of towards the lower section of your hair and working it down to the ends. Um, I wouldn't recommend working it into the scalp for styling purposes because it can kind of weigh your hair down. So I would recommend just really keeping it on the ends here to give your hair more shine and more hydration. So I hope you guys found these tips and tricks helpful. If you use marula oil in your beauty routine in a way that I did not cover, please let me know in the comment section below. I love learning from you guys and hearing how you guys are using products that um, I might not have thought about. So I wanna thank Mela for partnering with me on this video. I'll have all the information on where you can find these products listed in the description box below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.